Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Now, I was watching an interview with a lawyer, I believe, Stephen Bouthman, and law interests me. Now, it was concerning Ravi Zacharias. And I appreciate all the work that Steve has done on it. But working on something, you can be quite naive and arrogant and ignorant. And I'd like to offer an argument to justify this claim. First of all, Steve congratulated Ravi on the book of Daniel. Well, when he first encountered Ravi, that was the argument that really thrust him into a considering Christianity, because this was talking about Alexander the Great. And it was all about when Daniel was written. Was it written in the 6th century BC, or was it written after Alexander the Great? Now, Steve made the point, rather misleadingly, that the scholars all agree that it was written in around the 1st century or 2nd century, but Ravi held on to the belief he misguided the people and said Daniel was written in the 6th century BC. Now, Steve, if Ravi had believed the scholars, it would mean, what would it mean? Well, first of all, we need to ask ourselves, are scholars believers or non-believers? Because I heard through the grapevine that a lot of scholars do not believe in Jesus Christ. Da da da! So, if Ravi chose to believe the scholars, well, I'll let you to figure that one out. You are a bright little man. And this, the, the other point, there's loads of points I want to make about Ravi and Steve Boffman, 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 whatever. And it's this, he was talking about a, what was it? Oh, ah, the, the qualifications of Ravi. Now, I'm not an intellectual person. I'm not a great speaker. You know, when I was a child, I always wanted to be a great speaker. I always wanted to gather in the... Because I liked watching actors like Richard Burton or like all the rock stars. They, they, they drew in crowds. But then I, I read the Bible and everything that apologists try to be. It's the opposite of what God wanted. You see, when I was growing up, I used to go to a speech therapist and I, I still struggle with words. I, it is frustrating as anything when you're trying to have a conversation with people or trying to debate and you can't get these words out. Now, you see, Moses had the same argument, but I'm not sure if Moses was being a humble when he said that, because wasn't Moses trained in Egyptian ways? His speech must have been, to a certain degree, good. Or was it because of a language? Was it because Moses was 
struggling in Hebrew rather than the Egyptian language. Well, I don't know because I've not studied that. But anyway, uh, this is a this is a thing. Steve was saying how Ravi f uh, deceived the public on his qualifications. Now, this is a bit bizarre because once again Oxford University you have to question the beliefs of everyone at Oxford. Now, when Ravi went to Oxford, if he went to Oxford, he would have seen and bumped into people who were not Christians. Now, and even if Ravi didn't go to Oxford, the atheist on that particular course would have clicked with the name, oh, I don't remember Ravi being on that course. You see, what it reveals the atheists at Oxford or the atheists that had the background of education that Ravi Zacharias claimed to have they kept quiet they made it possible for Ravi to deceive everyone that's the irony you, you talk about Ravi deceiving well, it's because atheists kept quiet. Don't they want the truth? Do atheists not want the truth? Why are you not fighting and removing Ravi? How many years did it take? You see, that is where Christianity is greatest. Because for 2,000 years, in each generation, they persisted. Write the story in the Bible, the story of the persistent widow. Christians who preach, believers who preach, they're persisting. I'm, get, I'm getting a, wee, a, li, a little bit worked up. And if you think I'm being cruel to Steve well just remember what Jesus said if people provoke you turn the other cheek now if you want to stop conflict you're going to have to do what Jesus did because Jesus suffered the most abuse he put the expectations on to people that they can't look the other way on. You see, a non-white Jesus is a role model for black atheists because if a racist person shouts abuse, now the black person, the atheist black person can then hit out because they don't have any discipline or role model. Jesus is the ultimate role model. Now, I find it quite bizarre that this well-educated lawman, Stephen Bouffman, doesn't understand the value of discipline. Because if we were to look into the, the field of law, would we see a lot of bad, bad, bad people? And I'm not talking about the criminals here. I mean, we want justice. Do you want the truth? Do you even know what the truth is? I know the truth. That's why I'm speaking up. That's why I have confidence. Anyway, enjoy your night, enjoy your day, enjoy wherever you are. And if you're not enjoying it, pray to Christ. <laughs>